welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. And in today's video, I am bringing you a new series I want to do here on my channel. It's loosely based on something that I used to do here, uh, the Would I or Wouldn't I series. And I got that idea from Angelica Liramar, who is a Swedish creator here on this platform, who is absolutely amazing. And what I would do is I would grab 10 palettes at random out of my collection and then sit down, show you the palettes and tell you if I would or would not repurchase them and why or why not. And I had a lot of fun doing that. I got through 12 parts of that, did 12 videos in that series. And the reason why I'm not going to continue to do that particular series is because I did do a collection and declutter video, two videos, and got rid of a pretty decent chunk of my palettes. But now I've gained other palettes in my collection. Uh, I was under 200 and now I'm back up to 219 eyeshadow palettes. Some of those, of course, I purchased myself. Some of them I was gifted and some of them I received in PR. But I, I really love, love to talk about eyeshadow palettes here on my channel. So I started thinking of maybe something a little bit different I could do that was kind of similar but different. And I thought about the concept of random rankings where I would randomly select 10 palettes out of my collection and then just rank them for you based on the 10 palettes that I randomly selected in each video. Not necessarily basing it on my collection as a whole, but just the 10 palettes that I randomly select for each video. I just thought that would be really fun. Now I wanna be honest, I did film this video yesterday, uh, but I was exhausted and I was starving. And I just, I don't know, I just really did not feel like myself. And when I know that I'm not feeling like myself, I do not film. I need to take care of myself away from my YouTube channel because I don't think you guys necessarily need to spend time with hungry and tired Erica. I want to give you like my happy self and I just was not my happy self last night. So I just got home from work a little while ago. I did eat dinner. I have, I've slept a little bit better last night than I did the night before. So I felt like tonight would be the best night to start this series. So in the future, what I will do is I will take you along during the random selecting process of my palettes. I have another phone now over here and I do have a random generator app. So the next time you'll get to see the whole process from beginning to end. But last night I randomly selected these 10 palettes and I thought I'm gonna rank them for you and explain to you why I've ranked them the way that I have. Now, sometimes I love to rank palettes and other times I don't love to rank palettes. Just kind of depends on what's going on. Uh, like for instance, I just showed you guys uh, palettes that I felt were perfect for spring that I have in my collection. And I just really didn't feel like ranking those because I thought they were all perfect for spring. One wasn't more perfect than another. Uh, sometimes when I do my monthly roundup type videos, I will rank the palettes. There's been one time that I just couldn't do that because I love the palettes so much that I just could not rank them. But I do think it's fun. I do think it's a challenge. And this is just for fun, okay? This is not some big, super serious thing. It's just a fun thing to do with my makeup because I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Now, somebody else might do this on their channel. I don't know, or somebody may have already done this. So I'm not trying to like not give credit where credit is due. I just don't know of, for sure if anyone's ever done this before. And if they have, please let me know about that in the comment section because I'd like to give them a shout out, of course, for my next video. So I do have all of my palettes written down in this notebook. And I did randomly select 10 palettes out of my list of palettes here to rank for you guys today. So I'm gonna read off the palettes that I randomly selected yesterday. All right, the first one is the ABH Riviera palette. Then I randomly generated the BH Cosmetics Peridot palette, the ColourPop Boudoir Noir, the Catrice Cosmetics Vivid Burgundy Look, the Gourmand Girls Say L'Amour palette, the Martine Cosmetics 669 palette, <laughs> yes, the Odin's Eye Hella palette, the Saints Angel Sinners and Funny Butter Makeup and Chill palette, the Sample Beauty Jewel Toned palette, the Sydney Grace Mel's Memory Bundle that my dear friend Michelle sent to me. And that's it. Those are the 10 palettes that I randomly selected to rank for you guys for episode one of Random Rankings. Now, I did rank these last night, so I don't have to go through that process again, thank goodness. And I'm keeping them the way that I rank them. 
Now, the reason why I rank them this way is not because I dislike any of these palettes, because I truly love all of my palettes in my collection. Some, of course, I love more than others. But I basically just looked at color stories, uh, how often I've used them, how often I reach for them, and just kind of my experience with the palettes since they've been in my uh, collection, in my ownership. So let's start off with the lowest ranked palette in this go-round, palette number 10, and that belongs to the Catrice Cosmetics Five in a Box Vivid Burgundy Look. I'm trying to hold it so that the lights don't glare. I move things around, obviously, and I, I feel like when I was over there, my lights weren't as glary, but it's the same exact setup. I don't know. And I think this is a lovely color story. There's only, what, five shades in here, obviously. Five in a box, Erica. Duh. But everything works really well. I mean, the mattes are very nice, and they're pigmented and blendable. And the shimmers, I would say, I mean, they're very pretty, but they're more subtle. They're not super vibrant or impactful. So if you're wanting, like, a simple, classy look, I would say this is a great option for you. Absolutely. I have no idea if this palette is still available. But this was gifted to me from Nikki Raven, and I love it. I've used it several times. I've used this, like, you know, away from my channel a few times. I did film a video with this when I first got it quite a while ago. But it's really nice to have in a hurry. The packaging is great for travel. But, you know, in terms of some of the other color stories I generated for this go-around, just not, not my fave. Number nine belongs to the BH Cosmetics Peridot Palette. And this is August Burstone. And that's really the reason why I got this, because my husband is, was born in August, so this is his birthstone. I got the ruby palette, too, because that's my birthstone, but I decluttered that. And, I, you know, I did initially kind of think about decluttering this, because I think I've used it, like, twice, and it's got this pressed glitter that I have not used yet, although it does seem pretty finely milled. I used the pressed glitter that's in the ruby palette. It was fine. It was beautiful. The, the one thing I don't know or I don't really understand about these palettes is why is this shade twice the size as all the other shades? I guess because this is representing the actual birthstone color, I guess, right? I don't know. I do think this is lovely. I think it's a really fun and different color story. There's not a lot of shades in here, which that doesn't bother me because I do think even though there's not a ton, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, you can still do a lot with this palette. But well, it's just maybe not the most exciting color story that I grabbed for this round. And because I've only used it a couple of times, it just doesn't, obviously, it doesn't wow me as much as some of the other palettes that I grabbed this time around do. But I do like it. It's a nice palette. Number eight belongs to the ColourPop Bedoir Noir palette. And this wasn't necessarily easy for me to rank in the eighth spot. I kind of hemmed and hawed about exactly where to rank this because I love the grungy, earthy, olive color story here. This gold shimmer is absolutely stunning. It is so beautiful. And I really like the way the mattes perform in here. It does have this pressed glitter. Um, I think I could get away with using this and liking it. I have gotten a ColourPop pressed glitter in my eye before, which sucked, but that shade is long gone. It was in the Baby Got Peach. But this type of color story really is one of my favorites uh, in my collection. It truly is. But this is a palette that I just, for whatever reason, I don't reach for a ton anymore. I've used it maybe a handful of times, four or five times. I think it's lovely, but it's it's not necessarily as wonderful as some of the other palettes I grabbed for this episode. Number seven belongs to the Saints, Angel Sinners, and Funny Butter Makeup and Chill Palette. Now, this is an all shimmer palette, and it is gorgeous, but I've only used two shades out of this palette one time. I filmed a video a while back. And I thought, ooh, I'll use this palette in conjunction with an all matte palette from Profusion that I have since decluttered. And I loved the look that I put together. I used this shade right here and this shade right here together. And they were just gorgeous. This is very deceiving because it looks very, well, no, I guess it does look pretty green right there. But when I'm looking at it, it's very pink. So when I put it on my lid, I thought the pink would really show up. And no, the green really showed up. And it looked really pretty with this. This is a very purpley blue flippy shade. But I mean, all of these shades are gorgeous. I love the flips in the shade. Not all of them are duochrome, but most of them are. Uh, a couple of them are just like a metallic finish. But this is something else I really need to get a ton more use out of. I love this brand and this is just fun. It's really fun to have all shimmer palettes in my collection. Number six is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. I did pull this palette into a Throwback Thursday video and I really enjoyed playing with it. This is another palette that I have considered decluttering because, again, I don't reach for it a ton, 
But when I play with it and create looks with it, I fall madly in love with it all over again. So I've kept it. I love the shimmer tones in here and I love the shimmer formula in here as well. Very opaque and buttery and, you know, very easy to apply and they stay put, you know, they don't blow up all over your eyelids, which I love that. And I really like the mattes in here too. I like the fact that there are colorful mattes and also neutral mattes. Uh, th this was a little bit tricky for me to rank where I did too, but really happy that I still have it, that I've kept it and that I pulled it into a throwback Thursday video. In the fifth spot, I put the Mel's Memory Bundle from Sydney Grace that my dear friend Michelle gifted me. And I split them up by shimmers and mattes. So let me start off by showing you the shimmers first. These are so gorgeous and very elegant, very classy. Uh, some of them are more subtle than others, but they're just so beautiful. Sydney Grace creates such a beautiful eyeshadow formula, especially the shimmers, just stunning. And here's the thing. I love this bundle, I do, but I wanna keep it forever because it's very special to me that Michelle gifted it to me, of course. She's like a sister to me. And then also because it, you know, Mel Thompson created this bundle. And I, I know there's a story about why she chose these shades and I never can remember the story, but I loved Mel. I will always love Mel. She'll always be very special and near and dear to my heart. I wish she was still with us. I miss her terribly, I really do. One of my favorite creators, even now, even with her being gone, she still is one of my favorites and she always will be. But yeah, it's really lovely to have this uh, bundle. I just need to use it more. I need to get over that weirdness that I wanna hold on to it forever because that's ridiculous, I, I know that. And these are the mats that come in the bundle and just beautiful colors, you know, beautiful tones. I love the greens in here. I love the neutral, these kind of peachy shades. Uh, this dark brown is lovely, the tans, you know, just a really pretty, it's very pretty, very elegant, very classy mix of shades, both mattes and shimmers. Number four belongs to the Odin's Eye and Angelica Nikovist Hella palette. Look at the front of the palette, isn't that cool? Super cool, I love it. And when I first saw this palette be released, I thought, ooh, that's beautiful. Really a pretty color story. But I'm like, well, I kind of feel like I already have those shades elsewhere in my collection. And then a friend of mine, Christine, her channel name is the Bedazzled Buddhist. She and I were talking about doing a collab together, which we did. Uh, but she had two of these palettes and she's like, I'd really like to send it to you and let's do a collab together, a palette bingo collab. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. Go ahead. I would love that actually, because I did really want the palette. I was just trying to cool my jets. So to get it as a gift was wonderful. And it's a beautiful color story with a lot of really fun options in here. There's grungy and earthy, but there's also vibrancy in here and there's depth in here. And, you know, yes, I could have grabbed, you know, 20 palettes and, you know, dupe this, but it's really fun to have it all in one place. You know, it's lovely. I've really enjoyed putting looks together with this. I've done a total of, I think, three palette bingos with this. One, my phone ate, so I wasn't able to upload that video, so I had to refilm it. <laughs> some fun I have had with filming and editing some videos in my time of having a channel. But yeah, it's lovely. Really thrilled to have it in my collection. Number three belongs to the Gourmand Girls C'est L'Amour palette. Now, I think this palette is absolutely perfect for Valentine's Day because of the tones, the reds and the pinks. This black matte is impeccable. It's a lovely pigmented yet blendable black matte. Uh, this shade right here called We is my favorite shimmer in here. It's that pink and green flippy duochrome. I love the reds in here, although they do pull more pink on my lids, but whatever. This shade is gorgeous too. It looks very deceiving because it looks very white in the pan, but it's got this very iridescent pinky lavender shift to it. There's neutrals in here too, so you have a good mix of things and a good opportunity, I think, with this palette to do lots of different things. You can go more colorful, more, more neutral, mix and match. You know, it's just really fun. And I have got to use this again soon. This will be coming in a future Throwback Thursday video for sure. Number two belongs to the Sample Beauty, the Jewel Tone palette. Now I did do a, a Throwback Thursday video with this. Now, here's the thing about this palette that always sucks me in. These two shimmer shades, Moonstone and Diaspora, they're, they're like this really beautiful, mushy texture. They go on the lids and look just like liquid metal. They work well on their own. They work well as topper shimmers. They are so beautiful. And what I always wanna do every time I pull this palette out, which has been, I don't know, a few times, I think, okay, I'm not gonna use those. I'm gonna use other shimmers in this palette. There's four right here. 
And I did use this uh, shimmer too in the last, last time I used this palette for the Throwback Thursday video. But I really wanted to use like a couple of these too. And I, I just, I don't know, I get sucked into these two shimmers and I forget about those and I don't even care. <laughs> but I do really want to get more use out of the palette and these shades in particular because I've never used them. I love the jewel tones in here. The mattes are so pigmented and so blendable and just, it's just a dream to play with this palette. It's really easy to put looks together and tons of options. You know, you can do a bajillion things with it. I know now that they do not have their own website, Sample Beauty. They just sell the palettes on Beauty Bay. So I'll link Beauty Bay's website in my description box. And if you guys are looking for a, a fun brand that you have yet to try and you, you know, not, not to encourage just reckless shopping, but if you're looking for an indie brand that you'd like to try, highly recommend trying this one. And last but not least, the palette that's in the number one spot, I'm sure you can tell by the way I reacted when I told you that I randomly generated it, is the Martine Cosmetics 669 palette. Oh yes. Now I recently did a look with this palette for my makeup and artists, I think it was episode five, talking about Janet Jackson. And I wanted to recreate the colors that are in the Velvet Rope album cover. And I felt like the shades I chose for that look were spot on. Now I will say something that's a little bit of a negative about this palette is that this shade right here called Euphenia, Euphenia that I used in that look, when you look at it in the camera, it like kind of has that rusty gold and then it shifts to like a pinky burgundy. And I did not really notice the shift on my eyelids, which was weird. I kind of did at first in the mirror, but when I was editing the video and just throughout the day, you really couldn't see the shift, which I thought was strange. And I, I know that like using a glitter glue might help that, but I don't ever use a glitter glue because for whatever reason, my eyelids are like, no, <laughs> I'm not going to work for you. It just creases my shimmers like crazy. So I don't know. And maybe a different, pre I don't know, but I just was a little bummed that the shift didn't show up that well. This shade right here called Cornelia, I used that too, and it got kind of flaky, kind of chunky, got some in my eye, had it kind of fallen out on my face throughout the day, but you know, I just wiped it off. It wasn't that big of a deal. And this shade right here, Freya, I didn't use it in the look, but it's one of my favorite shimmers in here. It's got that pink and green flip, see pink, green. And then this one too, it's called um, Medusa. It goes from blue to purple. Can you see the purple? Yeah, there it is. And then the blue, really fun. And just such a cool color story literally and figuratively you know it's a very cool toned palette in general but it's just such an awesome color story so much depth in here sexy vampy smoky grungy oh i love it really fun really happy that i own this in my collection i have no idea if this is still available but i i just adore this palette Alrighty, so that was episode one of my random ranking series i'm going to be doing here i think monthly on my channel I also have another idea for a series. I think I'll start next week. Just wanting to have some different content here on my channel, just do some different things. And also just share my love for eyeshadow palettes with you guys. I could talk about eyeshadow palettes every day, all day long, from the time I wake up until the time I go to sleep. I even dream about eyeshadow palettes sometimes. But I also want to get over being so wigged out about ranking palettes. Like I mentioned, it's not that serious. It's just fun. And I love all of these. I just thought, you know, it'd be kind of fun to have some practice just grabbing palettes at random out of my collection and ranking them. Why? I don't know. Uh, just thought you guys might find it interesting. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your lives to sit down and watch this video. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, and of course, comment down below in the comment section. I love to chat with you guys there. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video. But in the meantime, please take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Drop it.